important things that you need to keep in mind when you're about to rehab a house. First, area of town. Not every house in the city is renovated the same way. If you have a historic districts, these are much older homes. They're renovated completely different than, uh, let's say, a 1980s or newer built home or renovated. Right. These are completely different construction styles. I've recently met a, uh, an investor that's having trouble selling a home and he told me the price point. He told me everything. Everything seemed to line up. But when I take a look at the pictures of his home that he listed, I was like, you renovated this house to be modern, new renovation, which is great. But you're in the wrong neighborhood. That neighborhood requires a mid-century renovation. You understand? And that's why your house isn't selling. So it's not selling because the house, the style that you did does not fit that neighborhood. It does not fit what those buyers are looking for. So you got to make sure, depending on the area of town, depending on the pockets, it's the type of renovation those properties are going to need. Number two is market condition. Is the market hot, cold? What's supply and demand like? Because this is going to affect how quickly you sell the house. Do you need to do a little bit more than what the comps are? And what the other properties that have sold are, because if you see all these properties that are selling for, let's say 300 grand and they look like this, but they're taking a little bit longer to sell. How can you match that and then do a little bit more just so your sales faster, not necessarily for more money, but selling faster. Sometimes that matters more because a lot of people target more money, but if it takes you too long to sell, the holding cost, the money costs, everything is going to chew into that profit anyway. So you want to make sure that you target speed as well as price. And the third one is price point. Are you renovating a house in a desirable price point? You understand what does that price point look like? What if you get in a deal you're, or you think you're getting a deal, but you're way off on the price point. You're in a price point that's not very desirable in your area. Then that means that you're going to spend a lot of money. You're going to waste a lot of time and the house may or may not sell may take much longer than you anticipated. You want to make sure you're within that desirable price point. And we talked about this plenty of times that you want to make sure what are the hottest zip codes, what are the hottest price points, and you combine both to find your target neighborhoods, to find your target areas of where you want to be rehabbing, where you want to be flipping. This is going to minimize your time and your risk because now you're putting out a product that is at a desirable price point, it's in a desirable area, and it has the right features. So your chances of selling go up exponentially. I mean, with us, you know, every property that we put on the market, we are essentially under contract within a week. Tops. 